All right, YouTube, this is JW Solar USA. I'm going on a live stream right now with, um, with the peep, introducing the peep 2424LV MSD live from JW Solar USA. So this is what we have right now, folks. This is the project. And this is the day that uh, I've been waiting for to show you guys the PIP. And now it's here. Live at JW Solar USA channel. So as you guys uh, know, um, I'm doing an installation right now with um, some solar panels I'm putting on. If you guys can go to the videos there and see the, the newest videos on top of the um, my videos there, you will see what is going on right now. So I want you guys to uh, join me. And if you're just uh, tuning into uh, the channel, uh, you're welcome to uh, elaborate into the peer. The 2424, this is the US version. This is not an international, you don't have to use any transformer. You just have to go direct US voltage. So I hope you guys um, like what you see in here and uh, just an introductory. So um, I would love to um, go ahead and do everything um to connect the parallel connectors so that you guys can see how things are set up so this pip will just be uh, one giant pip instead of being uh two because it's a pip 2424 lv msd so i would love to um put them to work and get all open up the uh the bottom and I uh, can start go about the entire business here but um, this will be probably a long a long video which I'm trying to prevent from happening but um, I want to introduce this pip and um, this one days from now I'm gonna be doing the installation so if you're just tuning in uh, you're welcome and uh, stay with me here uh, might not probably do a lot of um, video into this but I just want to uh, do an introductory and I have all the wires that supposed to be doing the parallel connection you know the communication cables you can see them right here the communication cables I'll lay them right here and you can take a look for yourself and uh, I got a disc right here see it's called the watch power see that it's all the cables right there there's another one here for the other one and uh, here are the wires that connect on the bottom on the cards see them right here so I'll show you uh, the boards here so that you can take a look and see how they look like these are the ones responsible for paralleling uh, the kid, uh, sorry, the pip. See that? That's how it looks like. Okay. Okay. Right there. See it? The identical connectors. Where they plug in. And you see. These wires I was showing you guys earlier, they are plugins that are supposed to be 
the generator side and whatever and all the other communication so i hope you guys are following me with this and before going further these are all the other machines uh, stuff that are supposed to go with it right there and here so bear with me um, as I'm looking for my my stuff for static so I don't want to uh, walking around the house and get some static that I'm gonna be you know putting some uh, uh, a shock into those cards but never mind I want you guys to see this but I'll start about the uh, process here so you guys can able to see exactly how these things are so pardon me for any um, things that I'm not gonna explain in detail on this video because um, I have to um, open up some of this stuff and do this and we are on live video on live streaming so it's gonna be kind of a little bit harder and uh, not that too hard but um, I don't know if um, I'm doing all this video myself if I can able to um, get the camera the way it's supposed to position it's different when you do a live video you can't pause anything or whatever so it's kind of tough but anyway um, it's not a big deal but uh, I want to show you guys how the pip looks like uh, some of you guys already seen it some of you guys already own one of them or two of them three of them but uh, so far so good and um, I just want my channel to be part of the entire pip uh, program which I'm gonna be installing this like I said uh, it's gonna be a series of videos this is uh, for my friend Steve uh, if you watch the, the re recent videos just check them out you see what I'm talking about and these ones are going right there so you're gonna see that it has two arrays it has a 10 Kyoceras and another two of the uh, um, uh, uh, um, big panels there each of them gonna be having um, the peep are going to connect it to one of these so these are 24 24 so if you parallel them it's gonna be um, 24 48 so that's a big 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 deal for this guy so this is the thing uh, I take care of my friends I take care of uh, people that are really um, nice to me nice to them and whatever I, you don't have to be nice to me you know but the only thing we have to have a mutual understanding and respect for each other. And this is what I want to do for him. Very, 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 very nice person. So you check him out and uh, you will see this thing running soon on his board. And uh, this is how I'm going to be doing it. So these ones I'm going to get off the way. These I'm going to get off the way. Uh, And uh, I'm going to go through a few things that, uh, like I said, I'm not going to be able to video all this because it's going to be way too long video. It's not for you guys watching right now. For the ones uh, in the future, seeing a video more than two hours long or whatever, it's going to be really, 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 really annoying. So... Some people probably are not going to watch it. But now, since uh, we're all curious to see this massive pip that was, has been making all the name right now in the new solar industry or whatever, what we're up to right now, upgrade grid tie and all the good stuff. I know you guys are all excited about it. A lot of people have been hoping, a lot of people have been wishing that they're going to be owning one of these or two. 
You know, these people can you can parallel these people up to four of them. To uh, you can do uh, a three phase, okay? You can do up to a three phase of power. So, for guys that like tinkering and want a massive three phase thing, well, the peep is for you. So, I just want to jump on to the uh, one of uh, this technology has been around, but it, it's, it's like a um, it's made by MPP Solar Incorporated and uh, I want a lot of people have been asking questions I've been looking at this for quite a long time with good friends that has them on uh, YouTube and this is the one old deal thing folks if you see that it's the one old deal I hope you can, guys can see that on camera. So, hello, okay. I'm, I'm just um, in front of the camera, so I don't know who's talking to me. So, if I don't call you by your name, I'm really sorry. But, uh, try just to introduce uh, the device here, which is, you guys can read the specs for yourself. I hope I have the camera, the thing really steady, so you can see exactly. Hello, Phil 20. Yes, the off-grid cabin. How you doing? All right, folks. And I'm just looking. Look at the specs right here. So you don't have to have any more transformers like people used to do, buying transformers, a step-up transformer, to convert... No, step down, sorry, Con uh, inverter, uh, transformer to step down the voltage from a 230 volt to 110 or 120. These ones are designed for the U.S. Okay, they're designed for the U.S. And, okay, Mr. VT Meister, how are you doing? If I pronounce your name wrong, pardon me, but I know who you guys are. This is the latest PIP 2017. It's just manufactured um, April. You can see that. Uh, okay, let me see. You can see for yourself. See the, 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 the four is shaded. So April 2017. This is the latest one. It's not old. It's just April, May, a month ago. Now we're on May. These are the specs right there. So, I want to do this for my good friend, a brother, a YouTuber. It's going to be a YouTube. So, there you go. Well, nothing happened to it. He's a tough guy. So, <clears throat> we're going to be taking out this screw right here. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. That's the what the the parallel connection is gonna be. And make sure when you do this, you have to have a place where you put the screws because at the end of the day, you're gonna end up having some extra part. It doesn't mean you don't fix it right, but the only thing, you're going to have some spare part because we're adding something new and taking out the other ones, okay? So, like I say, I started dropping the screws. So, here's going to be the dummy card right here. We're going to be taking these screws here. Okay, and taking the other one here on the side, and we can go about the entire process. But if I wish I would have able to pause the video so that I can even go about it and show you guys. But if you guys don't mind, I don't know if I'm still on the camera or not, or maybe I'm off. 
I might be off. But you take the screws off. Okay. That's what I'm doing right now. Taking the screws. And shout out to all you guys watching right now. Like I said. Okay. Let me grab uh, another one. It's kind of a little thin and uh, This guy is really tough. Okay, I got it. Just dropped it. All right, it has an on and off. You guys can see the internal part here. If, I don't know if you can see. It's a big choke in, in there. Okay. And see what we're going to do here. See that? Oh, okay. I'm off the camera. The plate is already off. See? All right. I took the plate off. I hope you can see that. There's a black. It's really... Hard to see right there where the fans are. All right. Let's see. Trying to take the rest of the other part and get all these things 